What's up guys? Just got the Kyosho MP10T. Uh, going to do a little unboxing video for y'all. But really excited about this thing. This truck is kind of like my favorite class, even though I really don't run them that much. But let's get here and see what we got. Kind of spin the box around, let y'all see some of the. All right, for the fun part. And of course, you know I've already taken a peek in here, so I already cut the. First, we got some instructions, stickers. Very, very huge body. Kind of surprised like you don't get wheels. That'd be nice. Black wing. Be getting rid of this because paint scheme I gotta run a white wing got some nuts filters the linkage in this bag right here we got the rear wing stay shock tower rear control arms suspension peels which are like the neon green get the white ones for my build Front, front shock tower, front control arms, bumper. Stone guards, mud guards, whatever. And engine mount, steering stuff. <laughs> Shocks. Gas tank, see the tray, some fuel lines and whatnot. It's like the bulkheads and all the gears and stuff like that. Maybe the center drive shafts, I do believe. Yep. Some miscellaneous stuff, uh, brakes comes with the solid brakes but I will be buying the slotted and drilled ones probably all the upgrades I have planned right now to do is just the uh, slotted and drilled brakes just because I think they look cool titanium screws because I think they look I think they look good and uh, probably some titanium turnbuckles if anybody releases them but I have a suspicion that the old turnbuckles for the STRR might work so I'll let you guys know on that. I'll try them out. Clutch and the rest of the uh, engine mount stuff. So. Grab a little blade real quick. The chassis. Yep, that's just a quick little unboxing. I'm going to try to do a time lapse on building this car. Because um, I built the MP10, uh, the buggy, not too long ago. And I wanted to do a time lapse, but I didn't really follow through with that. But I'm going to for this guy, so stay tuned for that. That'll be the next video on the Truggy. Might do a, like an engine break-in or something like that if you guys... If you guys would be interested in that, just uh, let me know. But uh, I'm going to get my other truggy down real quick, the old STRR Evo or whatever it is. And let you guys look at that.
All right, this is the STRR that I built uh, for the Fall Brawl in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Probably like a, two years ago, I would say a year ago, but I think it's been longer than that. <laughs> Pretty much built it for that race. I went down there, had a bunch of problems. Didn't really get to, to run. So this car has probably, I don't know, 20 minutes of running on it. It's actually a really nice car. It's got the uh, aluminum chassis braces, titanium screws, um, running the, the B7. Probably sell this car once I get the other truck together. So if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to building the new car. Like I said, truckies have always been a uh, uh, class I really I really liked. Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. That's even though I really don't get to race it that much, but hoping to change that. So, yeah. Let's get the, uh, the MP10 together. I'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison so you can kind of see the difference between the two. So. All right, this is the kit laid out from like you know bag one two three four and so on and so forth um but i'm about to get this thing together and uh here's some of the parts i got or i was waiting on before i built the kit but these are basically just the white suspension pills um because i'm not a fan of the the neon green and the uh, slot and drill brake rotors because i absolutely just love these things being a car guy you know I think they save a little bit of weight, but I'm not sure. And the titanium screw kit, which definitely saves weight. Uh, they don't, or I didn't see one for the, uh, the MP10T, the Truggy, the new Truggy. So I just bought it for the MP10, which I'm assuming it will work. If it doesn't, I got so many screws, it's ridiculous. I'm sure I can, if there's one I need, I can cut it down or whatever. But I think you don't have it. Yes, that's the... That's the stock brake rotor. That thing just looks horrible. So, not that you can see them, but I just like them. So, yep, going to do a quick time lapse, real quick, putting this thing together. I doubt I'll get through it all in one, so I'll probably just stop and come back. But, hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, this is it. Time lapse is kind of messed up because the battery kept dying on me, but. The kit went together really good. Still got to do the setup on it before we're ready to hit the track and paint the body. But it's uh looks pretty good. Still want to get the titanium turnbuckles for it. Looking forward to throwing this thing on the dirt and getting some laps on it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The next video will definitely be uh, the car in action itself. So, hope you're looking forward to that. See you on the next one.